Hi, I'm Gareth. And I'm Charlotte. And welcome to CTV. Now, we all know the most important meal of the day is breakfast. And rather than having cereal to toast, we've got a fun alternative for you. What are we doing? Uh, we're going to make buttermilk pancakes. Uh, buttermilk pancakes are really easy to make. They're the big American pancakes that you see in films. It's really simple. All you need is melted butter, about 50 grams, one egg, teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, about 125 mils of buttermilk, and about 150 grams of plain flour. That sounds really simple, so uh, let's get cracking. Yep. Okay, so if you want to sift the flour and the bicarb into there. Sure. As long as you're really good at sifting them. Yeah, here we go. Here it goes. Let's all set to the glass. There we are, it's all out now. A gentle tapping action. It's not what I'm doing, but actually how I'm doing it. It's a sort of a, a style, a flair that you don't see with other celebrity chefs on TV, like myself. Uh, I just like to mix it up a little. So what have we got there? Bicarb? Right, that's the bicarb. Wicked, just mix that in. Yep, just mix that round. And then we can pour in our melted butter. Mm -hmm. And crack in our egg. And how long does this recipe take normally? Because if you're like hurrying to lectures or you know, going for an exam. Well it's about five minutes to make the mix, five minutes to cook it. No problem. Can you pre-make the mix the night yeah, before? Yeah, you can make it the night before. Just make sure you cover it with the cling film. And this is just the buttermilk going in. Just getting all the flour into the mixture, yeah? Yeah. Now it's going to be quite a, uh, a lumpy mixture. You don't need to worry about that too much because uh, the bicarb is going to make it rise. Do you want to take over? Yeah, sure. Get your month of Sundays. <laughs> Now. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Easy, Tiger. Now, do you want to make sure that the uh, Yeah, well, I was really stirring. Hot? That never happened, did it? I <laughs> did. Well, you were stirring so slowly. Oh, well. Slow is steady wins the race, Charlotte. Uh -huh. Can you make sure that the pan's really hot for me? I will. Just I won't do that again. Everything everywhere. All right, Charlotte? I think you might have a handprint on the side of there. <laughs> right. Make sure it's hot. Yeah, yeah. don't touch it. All right. Uh, and then just rub some oil. Yeah. Onto the pan with the paper that I've given you. Yeah. Sure. So the pan I'm not supposed to touch, so I'm, <laughs> I'm now rubbing it. You're touching oil. it through paper, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, and now our mixture is ready to go in the pan. Okay. Fantastic. So do you, we want enough for two there, have we? Yeah, at least two there, yeah. Okay, do you want to do the first one and then I will attempt? I'd say that's that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll we'll watch the master in action, so <laughs> spoon it on there. So I just want to pop that in the middle and then just ease it around. You see starting to brown on the edges there a little bit? Yeah, you can just see that it's starting to lift off. Okay, you need to make sure that it is cooked on the bottom, otherwise you won't be able to flip it, it'll just fall apart. You see these air bubbles just forming on the top here? That means that it's nearly ready, nearly ready to be turned over. Those air bubbles, is that the bicol? Yes. Oh, I've learned something. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. It's, it's reacting with the uh, buttermilk. Okay. <laughs> Bit of chemistry in the kitchen. So, how long roughly are these? Uh, well, in total it'll take about five minutes in the pan. That's about two and a half minutes on each side. Okay, that's ready to flip over. Oh, look at that lovely colour on there. Yes, a great smell for breakfast. The yeah. smell of pancakes, the breakfast <laughs> of champions. Absolutely. Apparently. <laughs> so you can just see it's getting a bit of colour on the other side. And that's ready. Okay, so that's the first one done. I'm gonna have a, have a crack of this now. So, excuse me, swan. Right, I'm gonna wipe this thing first. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just ladle this bad boy in there. There we go. About that much, yeah? Yeah, that's good. I noticed you did like a sort of little yeah, just push it around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You want it a little bit bigger than that? All right, well. It's gonna rise as well, remember, so oh, you all spread, right. it, spread it a bit thinner. All right, okay. So is that the perfect size or? Yeah. Right. This one might even come out better than the first one. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't first pancake not... always goes wrong, that's the rule. I think that's what losers say. So, yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's good. Flip it. Here we go. Showmanship. Yes. Boom. Boom. There we go. 
So the second one will always cook faster than the first one because the pan's much hotter. So it'll only take a couple of minutes now. And yeah, that's just an excuse there, Charlotte. I think what you're witnessing is the birth of where the master has been overtaken by the student. That's what's happening here. Dream on, Gareth. Okay, is that ready? That looks perfect. Okay. So are we ready to plate up over there? Okay, just stick it on there. No, I think we'll just let the cameras decide and the viewers decide which one they prefer. So let's, let's look here at pancake A. You can see it's slightly smaller. There's a bit of, I want to say burn there. And then exhibit B, which has got, you know, it's got a good texture there. And all. Look how soft that is. That's like a pillow, like a small cloud in a frying pan. Um, I believe if this were a pancake, match, this would be survival of the fittest, of course like Charles Darwin would say, I would be the winner pancake here. Yep, so pancake, winner, me, yeah, woo! This one go just there on the top and the winner, where the winner would go. Oh, oh for goodness oh. sake. Okay, well that, that's karma for you. So don't, don't get too coffee when you're cooking, it's my tip to you. Uh, maple syrup? Yeah, then we're just going to finish with a nice drizzle, maple syrup. Lovely. Yeah. You don't have to have maple syrup with this. You can no, you can have whatever you want. Mix you can, it up. Yeah, I mean, you can have lemon and sugar if you want on the traditional crepes. Yeah. But, um, Berries. You can put bacon with this as well. Bananas. Really nice. Bananas, whatever Cashew you want. Cashew nuts? No. No, okay. Um, so then that's too far, but we've got the knives and forks ready. Okay. There's your knife. <laughs> Two knife. knives. And fork. Thank you. Uh, let's tuck it in. I'm going to go in at the side. There is a side to the circle. There we go. There we go. All right. there we go. Mmm! So there we are, that is top breakfast food for you students out there. So buttermilk pancakes with maple syrup, bosh! So you're going to find the recipe for that and a whole load more on the website, thestew.co.uk. And remember, as always, find us on Facebook. And follow us on Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe for more exclusive content. Try it out, let us know how your breakfast times are going, take a few pictures, send them to us, and we'll see you in two weeks' time for our final episode. Goodbye.